India is a country with diverse geography. India has mountains, deserts, a huge coastline, plains and even islands. This geographical structure helps creation of different habitats for the wildlife. Nature is fascinating in its own ways. The wild animals have their own survival techniques that have attracted humans. Indian wildlife is spread across this diverse geography of India from east to west and from north to south in various protected areas of national parks and sanctuaries. South India is rich in flora and fauna with some of the most exotic wild species found in this region. Be it the UNESCO recognized Western Ghats or the dense and magnificent Nilgiris, each place is rich in flora and fauna with different ecosystems. Amongst the most beautiful national parks of South India is Bandipur. Located in Karnataka, this forest is predominantly of a dry deciduous type. One of the most powerful mammals living in the Bandipur forest are the elephants. These mega herbivores consume nearly 150 kgs of plant matter daily. They are seen both grazing and browsing. These southern forests have ample food supply for their herds. Elephants have an average height of 6 to 11 feet and weigh between 2,000 and 5,000 kgs. These mammals are very very protective about their small ones. Elephants graze in groups, but they may often be seen to wander a little away from the main group in search of food. However, they are in continuous contact with their herd. The little ones are often seen with their mothers either in the groups or a little away from the group. The mothers may take the small ones away from the group only in cases when they feel their young ones are big enough such that they cannot become the tiger's prey. These forests of southern India like Bandipur and Nagarhole protect the endangered beauty, the tiger. As the orange colored black striped beauty walks through the jungle, all the creatures stand in attention. These black stripes and pattern of every tiger are unique just like our fingerprints. Tigers generally hunt during the night and therefore they are seen lazing around during most part of the day. These forests have huge population of the spotted deer. These are the favorite meal of the tigers. In the evenings, the tiger comes out for hunting.
In the hot afternoons, the tiger spends most of its time taking a dip in the water. Through the forests of Bantipur pass two main national highways. Due to this, the safety of the animals traveling from one part of the forest to another is at stake. Along with that, the elephants are often also seen attacking the human beings passing on the highways. Hence, as the activity of the animals of the jungle is more at night time, the highways are closed from evening to early morning for all the people. Even during the daytime, elephants are seen on the roads. These huge creatures often scare away people and their vehicles. The human-elephant conflicts also extend to the farms that are adjoining the forest lands. Another powerful beast of this forest is the Indian bison, also called as the gaur. This animal is categorized as vulnerable on the IUCN list. It has a high convex ridge on the forehead between the horns. They have dark brown color but the upper part of its head is ashy grey. It is roughly 8 feet long and around 700 kgs in weight. To compensate this, they need to keep feeding themselves. Thus, in the grazing areas of the forest, they are often seen with their heads down and engrossed in eating. They prefer to eat the upper portions of plants like leaf blades, stems, seeds and even flowers. Though these gores are actually shy creatures, they have now become more bold and used to the human presence in South India. They are also found in wading fields and agricultural areas in search of some interesting food. In the Kodagu district of Karnatak are the beautiful Irpu Falls. Though they are mainly a tourist attraction, actually they are also famous for the flying jewels, the butterflies and the lion-tailed macaques. This area has a trail up to the Brahmagiri peak. The waterfall of this area is attractive. The rocks near the waterfall have sprinklings of water from it which attracts the butterflies for puddling. Puddling is the activity by which the butterflies drink water. The lion-tailed macaques are one of the rare yet primary attraction to wildlife lovers coming to this area. These macaques have black hair but their outstanding characteristic is the silver mane surrounding their head from cheeks to chin which gives them the characteristic of the lion. Also, their tail has a black tuft at the end of it which makes it similar to that of the lion and thus these primates are given the name lion-tailed. At the Irpu Falls, you can spot a number of beautiful butterflies like the blue tiger, the blue mormons and others. 
This area near Irbu Falls also has a lot of spider varieties like the giant wood species constructing huge webs. Another attraction of these jungles of South India are the sloth bears. Sloth bears are generally nocturnal. However, they are also seen to wander during daytime in search of food. They have poor eyesight but have a very strong sense of smell. They are often seen feeding on ants, honey and roots of trees. The bears will be often seen together when they are young. This protects them from predators. There are wildlife sanctuaries in South India like Daroji Bear Sanctuary that protect these beautiful creatures. South India is a home to hundreds of bird species, both resident and migratory. Every year during the winter months, the areas in southern India get crowded with hundreds of birds. They flock here for their breeding and nesting season. Abundant water a good food supply and also availability of safe nesting areas makes these regions attractive to the migratory birds. There is presence of bird species like the painted stalks, the open bill. Night herons, cormorants, spoonbills, and others. South India has beautiful coastal waters. These waters support a number of bird species. Flocks of the seagulls are often seen in these regions. The huge trees near the coastline provide a good habitat for the pied hornbills. As well as the Malabar grey hornbills. The jungles of South India have a variety of flora. This flora supports a number of nectar feeder birds and fruit feeders like the leaf birds. Sunbirds. Hornbills and others. The southern parts of India often get good quantity of rainfall. Rains change the entire ambience of these jungles and forests. Many creatures 
like the frogs, dependent on these climatic conditions, are seen emerging in the forests. This region is specially famous for the green tree frogs that come out during the monsoons for their egg laying. There are a number of water bodies that support creatures like the marsh crocodile. Crocodiles commonly called as muggers are heavy bodied nearly 100 kgs and have a length of around 9 feet which can even extend sometimes to 16 feet. It has a powerful tail and webbed feet. Its visual, hearing and smelling senses are acute. Being reptiles, they are cold-blooded. Due to this, they may immerse themselves in water or they may bask on the banks of the river in accordance with the temperature changes. The other reptiles that these forests support are the snakes. Amongst the venomous snakes are the spectacled cobra, the Russell's viper. Specific to this region is the Malabar pit viper. Apart from the bigger animal species of South India, these areas also support varied varieties of flora. This area has a large variety of orchids. The hilltops and plateaus are often seen to bloom with a variety of flowers in the rainy seasons. The southern parts of India also support a number of carnivore plant varieties. These forests also hold a large variety of trees and plants that are having medicinal properties. The flowers and smaller plant species support a large variety of insects. Though Many areas of South India are protected in the form of national park sanctuaries. Yet, there are a number of reasons why there are still threats looming over the wildlife of this region. The main threat is the human and animal conflict that takes place because of the animals wandering in search of food to the villages and other agricultural areas. Another threat is the accidents that are caused of the wild animals while they cross the roads. Threat to the flora is in the form of invasive species invading the jungles and forests. In spite of the threats that the forests of South India face, there is still hope for the wild animals living here and also for their future generations. <laughs>